YouTubers, JB Coins here with another Sunday live stream. Um, hope you guys have had a great weekend and are ready to have some fun, learn some stuff about coins, and check out um, what we have for giveaways. So, a little housekeeping here, real quick. Sorry, guys. Um, had these too far down and they're not showing up in the camera shot. Okay, is that good now? All right. Um, first off, a couple things. I got there's a whole bunch of people saying hi. Ricardo, hey, past and present, hey. Uh, Thomas, welcome. Uh, Sin, hello from sunny California, welcome. Bill, cannot see you. Uh, refresh your screen, man. There's, a, there's and, and somebody, if you could go over to the other stream and let them know we're over here, please. Apparently, there's a bunch of folks over there. Uh, Ricardo, good afternoon from Atlanta. Uh, G-Man, how you doing? Matthew Penn, hey, everybody. Mr. Mark19, what's up? Ishan, hey. Joe Brown, hey, JB. Okay, I'm going to, going to probably lift this up and put it in front of the camera so I can show it to you and then get it out of the way. This is a $1,000 box of dollar rolls. And you can see the silver ones, which are all the Susan B's. So I'm going to put this on the back of the table I'm going to grab a couple Susan B's. I'm going to grab a couple that has some shiny presidentials on them. We're going to try and go through these while we're doing our live stream today. And it's kind of a dollar themed live stream. So let's see if that's enough for the video or for the stream today. Get some of that cardboard off there. All right, so are we set up okay, or are we? Susan B. Wide Rim Close Date is the one to look for. Yep, we've got a couple of those. Um, and we'll get into what's on the table here in a bit, too. Uh, Dave Smith, afternoon. Mr. Mark, nice. Uh, that many, Susan B. Anthony. Um, couple boxes ago we had we had put up a dollar video it should be in our playlist i think we had either 148 or 184 susan b anthony's in one box like that and we got literally we didn't really have a collection of susan b's we had a, a few of them we had a few key dates we literally got every single coin except for the um the open s variety that was the only coin out of all the Susan B's that we didn't get in that one box in BU or better condition. It was just absolutely amazing. So these boxes are a lot of fun to hunt. You have to order them, um, but that's okay. Um, they're, they come sealed. They're not pre-searched. There's no customer rep rolls. It's great. Scott, sent you PayPal. Happy to help. Thank you, Scott. I'm sure we'll get the update here in a second. Uh, Bill, if you hit the like on the other one, hit the like again until it turns blue. Scott Lockhart, 50 bucks on PayPal. Thank you, man. Going big again. Um, some people still at your 30 minute video reminder. Hmm. Um, type two, yeah, that's, I believe they call that the type two as well, the uh, open S. Uh, Matthew, smash it, whack it. It is the like. Yes, we uh, we want to try and see if we can uh, recover from last week's depressing, not hitting a hundred likes, and giving a free entry to the drawing today. Uh, so as if we get to a hundred likes, or when we get to a hundred likes, uh, before the end of the video, uh, the first person to type the word enter or entry and B sees it on her computer, she will shout out who that person is and that person gets a free entry to today's drawing. So um, 
Going to continue to say hi to folks and do a little housekeeping here, catching up on a couple things. Um, let's see. Yeah, you got to go out. And, no, that's a different one. Okay. Uh, Amber Fresh. Hello. How are you guys? Welcome, Amber. Um, Matthew, I didn't get a reminder, but I got the live stream notification. That's that's good information because that's why we tell everybody, make sure you set the notification button so that when we go live stream, like we did on that Tuesday night, you might not get the reminder, but you'll get the notification. Rogue, welcome. Uh, didn't see you. Uh, Lincoln, how you doing? Uh, Beth, welcome. Uh, a little early, little early for the entries, guys. <laughs> Got to get to 100 likes first. Um, uh, the Lou, welcome. Corey. Uh, let's see, Mr. Mark 1919. There you go. Uh, Christopher Gann, hello all. Okay, I'm going to take a sip. You guys that have been here a while, uh, and even uh, you new folks, will explain this a couple times probably during the video. But this is the... Uh, the basically the layout for the uh, drawing. So if you do a five dollar uh, donation, you get one entry, and then increments of five. So like Scott, who just did fifty on PayPal, uh, he'll get ten entries. Uh, you can also do it on Super Chat, obviously, um, or you can go to the PayPal account jbcoinsinc at gmail.com. Uh, and click gift or send money to family and friends, and then they won't take out any fees um, to us, uh, which we greatly appreciate. Um, Bad Danny, good afternoon. How you doing, man? Uh, Matthew, uh, gone fishing, welcome. James Lee, welcome. Um, glad you're on time this time, JB. Last time I left for one second, everything was gone. <laughs> And there we go. Grove Minting. Hello all. Hi, J and B. Jared is in the house. We have our own personal owner of a minting company who a lot of us have bought coins from, who hasn't been able to make it to the live streams for a while, and he's here. So some of the questions and things we talk about, he can answer. And he always, you know, during the live streams, he always contributes some really good content to the discussion too. So, uh, welcome, Jared. Good to hear. Good to see you here, David Smith. Ten dollars on PayPal. Uh, thank you. Um, Pamela Lynn is here. Hi, JB Coins. Jalisa's Vlogs. Hey, welcome. Bobby Emmons. Is he live? Not working. He is actually live. Yeah. Um, Bill Rolflex. Great camera. Not sure what that's reference to. Um, Grove Minting, been a while, happy to be online. Yep, happy to have you back, man. Um, Adam, awesomeness. Uh, okay, so today, I must, I'm going to kind of start getting into this, but I want to I do one piece of housekeeping. Uh, I messed up on the last live stream. Uh, I got confused. We had a couple different envelopes. This envelope here was sent to us by Scott Lockhart, uh, with a gift inside, and I misunderstood, he sent us a nice 1946 wheat penny. Beautiful 46. And he wrote, coin roll hunting in the corner, <laughs> which we thought was really cool. So we appreciate that, Scott. Thanks. We didn't mean to, uh, um, to blow it off or disrespect it. It just, it just kind of got lost in, in the craziness of, of everything that was going on. So thank you very much. That was very cool. Um, let's see. Okay. And then also don't forget, um, uh, we've got, uh, 10 more days for the 2018 Britannia, um, Oriental design giveaway. There's a video up there. It's free to anybody that's a subscriber and you can get extra entries if you watch the video link below or that's in the, this video. Um, so you can get multiple entries for free. And this thing's absolutely gorgeous. So check out that video. 
Uh, like I said, there's only like 10, day, 10 days left to that, and it's a freebie uh, from Atmax. Um, we thank them for that as well. Uh, Amber, I see some coins. Hmm, you noticed that, did you? <laughs> Dan, it's Eric Dan from Houston, Texas. How do, you, how do I send you pics from some of my new discoveries? Uh, go to jbcoinsinc.com. Go to where the lists are, and there's a preferred email uh, support. Read that. Check it out. You'll see what, what options you got there. And then our email link is also there, too. Um, Penny Penny, IHJB Coins. Okay. Um, I guess I'm not tech, tech savvy or, or something this morning or not enough coffee. IH, I'm not getting that one, but thank you. Uh, 58 to go, whack-a-mole. All right, we're going to get to those coins that uh, somebody noticed and kind of pointed out. Uh, as you can possibly see on the camera, um, there, this is the dollar theme video, basically. Okay, and I'm going to start. Um, you want me to start at the bottom of the top, sweetie? Your pick. Down here and finish with that? Okay. All right, starting at the bottom probably because this is a little hard to see at the bottom of the screen. 1974, Ike, Philadelphia, out of our collection, very nice condition. Uh, a 2009 Tyler Presidential, missing lettering. It only has E Pluribus Unum. It does not have In God We Trust, and it does not have the date. And you can see coin roll hunting. That was actually in one of our videos when we found that. Um, and then we have two, 2000, a 2000P and a 2000D, Sacagawea, AUBU condition, also from coin roll hunting. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Miss um, Sweetie found these and... Uh, and showed them to me, and I absolutely agreed. And now here's where it gets interesting. We have a 79P, Susan B. Anthony. Also, uh, coin world hunted, uh, or excuse me, these are out of our collection. Um, 79D and a 79S. So you have P, D, and S, all in beautiful condition of Susan B. And who was that earlier? Matthew? A 79P, wide rim, near date, Susan B. in BU condition. Probably, probably can get this one graded. Okay? Um, and one last thing, and I'm noticing a bunch of stuff going by but i'm gonna to have to get back to you guys so hang on a second while i go through this and this is last but not least a star note and it starts off with 1950 and then 5452 and it's from the dallas mint and it's in beautiful condition so whoops as i drop it um, no bent corners, it's in great shape. So all of that is today's giveaway, okay? So, and we're gonna try and open some rolls <laughs> and see what we find. Whatever we find is not gonna get added to that because we've already got a bunch of stuff there on the table. Uh, good point. If someone uh, wants to make a, a, a donation or an entry on PayPal especially, um, if you want us to use your, your uh, YouTube handle or name rather than your personal name, please put a note in there so we know that because otherwise the information we get is your name and the donation amount, we announce that and we could inadvertently announce who you are. And if you're like us, you don't like that out there. You go by your, your avatar. Uh, Bill got an email from Royal Canadian Mint is working on the milk spots on newer coins. That would be awesome. <laughs> Could somehow figure out how to make them as shiny as Jared does. He does it. I don't know how they don't. 
Uh, Ralph Simpson, $15 on PayPal. Thanks, Ralph. I really appreciate that, or we appreciate that. Pamela Lynn, nice. Uh, let's see, hey, JB wanted to thank you for the information. I helped find, uh, shoot, I, that one just rolled right off my screen, man. Um, very nice giveaway. Bill 457, the black box. Oh, the black box, that's our scale. That's that's our, our $8 scale that we have over on uh, JB Coins Inc. We have the link to that. It's the AWS uh, scale. It's a very one, a very first scale uh, in that section of the website. Beth, I think, said check PayPal. Um, hello, nice stream from Hi Skippy. <laughs> Corey W, check with a check. Beth with a check PayPal. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, how can we have 68 now with only 55 likes? It's a good question, Dave. <laughs> we know who you are. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, I have a 10 DDR O Susan B. Anthony. We'll send you pics from my digital microscope and 15 Kennedys. Oh, he's up, dude. That's a that's a lot of pictures to send us to evaluate. Um, you know, we'll we'll get to them when we get to them if you send that many. Um, Jared uh, from Grove, milk spots are usually from the wash when preparing the silver blanks. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's for some reason, like I say, Jared keeps the quality and, and doesn't have that issue. And, you know, the mint has had that issue for years and just either doesn't care or just can't fix it. Beth Lee, $5 on PayPal. Thank you, Beth. Um, Rogue Dragon Rider, 55 likes. Do I see 60, 60 silent auction? There you go. Joe Brown, wish I would have said use avatar name, but okay. Um, let's see, I have to go watch. I have to go watch later. Okay, Scott. Um, Adam Thomas, I have a 1909. Man, these things are just scrolling by. I can't. Go, can't keep up with them. Um, hey, JB Coin, your stream. Glad to be here. Hope everything is doing great. Johnny Patton. Welcome, Johnny. Uh, welcome to the family. Um, uh, if, if we haven't said this yet, if you're a new subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, please hit the like button because when we, especially in a live stream, when we get to the uh, 100 likes, we give away a free entry to today's giveaway. Uh, to the first person to type enter or entry uh, and have it show up after we hit 100 likes. So it's not when you put 100, it's not when you put your like button in, it's when you put entry in and which one pops up first on B's computer behind me and she calls out the winner. Alan, anyone else find a Denver Mint token in Penny Roll has Treasure United States Mint on one side and uncirculated on the reverse copper. These are going by too hard to read. Uh, Diamond Manetta, greeting to friends. Welcome, my friend. Uh, Johnny Patton, thank you, thank you. Cheapskate, hello. Um, Amber, hunting we will go, hunting we will go. She's giving me cues here, you know. It's, like, it's pretty funny. Um, okay, I'm opening the first roll here. Uh, Johnny Patton, sub, like, and hit the bell. There you go, thank you. Uh, use a sharp steam cleaner works incredible on cleaning and making the coins bright and shiny again hmm never heard of that one uh somebody just said was up uh logan hello uh bobby emmons i have an absolutely amazing 64 nickel full steps my friend says it's not a proof i'm confused can you help um it doesn't have to be a proof to be full steps proof is is the strike whether or not the fields are shiny uh, or whether it's a business strike. And so um, if you have full steps and it's in even halfway decent condition, it's probably worth uh, checking out with uh, Heritage uh, Auctions at HA.com, free appraisals, have them uh, give you an opinion on what they think it would sell at auction if you're interested. Uh, and then that kind of drives whether or not your uh, willing to go and send it for grading and get the full step attribution. 
Uh, bad Danny, I have 192 silver quarters worth 50 bucks. Worth 50 bucks. You're talking about face value? Because silver, they should be more than that. Uh, A, missing on Indian cent obverse. Missed that one. Pamela and high silver cheapskate. I found a Philly copper tokens, but never a Denver. Okay. Uh, Pentium. I'm in your giveaway. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, okay. For the Britannia. Yeah, that makes sense. Very first coin off the top is a 1980. Susan B. And it's a D. So I'm just going to set these right here, but these are the giveaway coins right here. I'm going to move that scale over this way. These are the giveaway coins and dollar bill in today's drawing. And I'm going to do uh, opening the rolls right here. Uh, portrait. Hello, everyone. Shoot, I'm at Home Depot and we'll miss all the action. Laugh out loud. Have a good stream. We will. We're giving away lots of money today, so have a good have a good time there spending some. <laughs> uh, Rogue, we have 67 likes going for 70. Wow, we're 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 going good. Uh, Penny and Bad Danny, it's worth 153.5. Yeah, that sounds more more. Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, George Washington. Uh, he's not in great shape, but you want to check him for edge lettering. Um, James Buchanan, he's fairly shiny. There's another Susan B, 79. And I can't see. <laughs> is there a way to tell if my coin is a proof besides the mirror finish, like the rim, for instance? Not that I'm aware of. The, the, the proof normally is the mirror finish a decam would be where you have the mirror finish but you have the satin finish on the uh, on the devices like the the image of washington or or jefferson and uh, you can try a trick with a screwdriver or toothpick uh, actually saw this on um, blue ridges channel uh, where you can you can hold it out and if you hold it correctly on the light, you'll reflect like a mirror. And when you go across the field, it'll reflect back perfect, whatever you're running across there. But when you hit the, the, um, the cameo, it's all blurry. So that just tells you right there whether you have a cameo, okay? Uh, and then that's always a proof. You, you don't get a cameo in a business strike. Um, okay, so we have a 79P. And it's not a near date. We have another 79. D. Don't believe that's a near date either. We have a James Monroe that's in very nice shape. We have a 99D Susan B. Vince Karcher, $10 on Super Chat. Thank you, Vince. Uh, and, I, and I missed, <laughs> I think that was Bad Danny went by with Mercury's and Roosevelt. I, I missed that, sorry. Uh, Adam Botier, sorry. Or, hi all, I'm late, sorry. Um, Pentium, uh, saying hi to Vince. Bobby Emmons is interesting, thanks. Uh, imagine if you found a 1878 trade dollar and change. That would be, <laughs> yeah, that would be, uh, probably have a heart attack. Um, I mean, 1878 CC Morgan. Yeah, that would definitely be a heart attack because that's, that's, you're talking 400, 600 if it's in good shape. Okay, here's a really shiny Abe Lincoln. Uh, George Washington, Sacagawea. Cannon. Gotta put that down. No wooden nickels. <laughs> Let's see, John Adams. Another 79D. The Sacagawea 2000P. Same thing. 
And on the 2000 piece package of Wea, if you check our list, I mean, geez, there's, there's probably over a dozen. Hey, that's not a good thing to do. Luckily, it didn't hit or directly on a coin. But there's probably a dozen errors and varieties to check just on the 2000P. Um, Rex, $5 on PayPal. Thank you, Rex. Um, you know, you got, you got like Spirit Eagle, you got um, Wrong Plan Check, you got, I mean, just tons of stuff. And this is heartbreaking. I saw this at the, at the face of the roll. This was an ender. It's an absolutely beautiful James Madison, but it's got the ring cut into it from the rolling machine crimping the end of the roll, um, otherwise ruining a very, very nice James Madison. And I mean really nice James Madison. So one roll down. Um, Amber, I found a 1910 hunting. Very cool. Uh, Robert just found a 2017 P that is missing shirt collar and neck. Looks like his head is floating. Any ideas on value? I don't know about value, but that is a known uh, error. James Lee, $10 on PayPal. Thank you very much. And again, if you, if you do that on PayPal, please make sure if you don't want your personal name re revealed, give us your avatar or what name you go by on PayPal. Um, YouTube so that we can announce it using that because uh, otherwise we don't know any better. Uh, Amber, 82D small date on copper would be perfect. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool too. Um, Pentium, if you ever found a 1871cc, you would be dead. <laughs> okay. Probably have a grabber. Yeah. Let's see. Do you offer a discounted price if someone wanted to purchase all of your list? Um, Vince, go check out the, uh, on JB Coins Inc. when you get a chance, check out the preferred email support. Um, there is a way to, um, to get the lists and also get some bennies and stuff, um, especially if you're wanting more than just the lists. Um, Heidi, hey, what's going on? What did I miss? Bobby Emmons, 10 bucks, PayPal. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, hey, what's going on? Just got here. What I miss? What's going on? Looks like 71 likes already. Hi, Heidi. Uh, Pentium, 73 likes. We're getting there. Uh, let's see. Pentium, 1,000 minute for 1871 CC dollar. Yeah, key date. Um, Cheapskate found a 41S FS502 S over S nickel this past week. That's a very nice find. Uh, Bobby Emmons, smash that like button. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Amber entry. <laughs> Timing's a little off, Amber. Um, let's see, we got a real shiny edge on the middle of this roll. So let's see. Wow. That is a 2000P. Try and get the light on it. It's a 2000P Sacagawea that is absolutely flawless and it's like brand new. I mean, this thing is a stunner. Let's see, G Man, I have an 1864 small motto two cent piece. Are they valuable? Um, off the top of my head, I can't tell you, but most two cent pieces, I'm pretty sure, go for a fair uh, premium. I mean, decent amount of money. Uh, cheapskate, they were probably all melted down right away. Um, that I'm assuming you're referring to the 1873 uh, S dollars. Because, yeah, there was a huge meltdown of those. Heidi, what's on the table? Well, if you were on time. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, going to put the coins down. Go through this one more time. Uh, hey, put your gloves on. 
oh, come on, man. Uh, could I do, could I buy a dollar roll off you from your box? <laughs> um, you you got to talk to B about that one, Scott. Um, okay, first coin is a really nice seventy four Eisenhower or Ike dollar. Whoop. Next one is a 2009 Tyler Presidential with partial missing lettering. It only has E Pluribus Unum on the edge. It does not have In God We Trust or the date or the mint mark. And you can see we found that one coin we're hunting. The next two are a 2000 P and D Sacagaweas in AUBU condition. Uh, we also found those coin we're hunting. Uh, and then up here, we have a full set of 1979p Susan B. Anthony dollars uh, in really nice shape. So you have PD and S and a 79p Susan B. Anthony wide rim in beautiful condition. I wish I could get a light over my shoulder so these things would shine a little better, but it is what it is. Well, maybe I have to try and get one of those. Uh, and the last thing at the top is a crisp, uh, it is a 2013 series star note and it starts out with K 1950 and then ends with 5452. It's from the Dallas Fed and that goes up there too. So all of those coins... Yeah, the star note's gorgeous. I mean, they're all, they're all gorgeous. Uh, all of these coins and the dollar bill are today's drawing. There's only one prize. The coins that I'm working on down here from the coin rolls are not part of the drawing, okay? Uh, Pentium, whoa, nice star note. Yep, it's a very nice star note. It's... Uh, it's a 1950, so it could potentially be a birth date, but the, the 54, 52 at the end kind of, you know, would be kind of a weird date. JB, make sure you check your Zach Taylors for the year. Uh, if it says 2010, it's an error. Yep, we got that. It's supposed to be a 2009. Yep, that's on our list. Uh, and we did a video on it as well. Um, if you're looking... Bank rolls, gloves are useless because they're, they've already been handled. Yep, that's true. Any, let's see, Heidi S, okay. G-Man, yes, Pentium, I have a Facebook. I'm assuming you were talking to me. There you go. Uh, Scott B, would you sell me a roll of dollars from the box? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? She, she must like you. She said, sure, which one you which one you want in terms of what kind what kind of ender? You want a president, you want a Susan B, uh you know. Let her know. Holy cow, Grove Minning just jumped in big. Hundred dollars on super chat from Grove Minning. Thank you, Jared. On the house donation, no entry. Thanks for your great channel. Jared, as always, thank you for your friendship and for everything you do for the channel and for all of our guys uh, that are part of the community. Um, our, I know our subscribers have, have bought a lot of coins from you guys, and so it's a, it's a two-way love fest for sure. Um, <laughs> Adam, boom! Um, let's see. I have some unopened dollar rolls of Reagan and Truman. Um, gosh, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the list. Um, pardon me, Reagan has errors? My sweetheart just went through a bunch of dollar coins and she says Reagan has errors. Um, Scott, just a random end. Okay, well then she'll pick one out. Amber wants to buy one too. I was waiting for that. <laughs> We say, sweetie. Amber wants to buy a roll now too. <laughs> okay, uh, send her a message. Um, 
uh, jbcoinsinc.com at gmail uh, later, and she can work that out, okay? Uh, let's start the bidding, Scott. I like her. <laughs> um, Rogue, $5 on PayPal. Thank you, Rogue. Wow. John Cassabom, and I have no clue. <laughs> Is that Arabic or... I don't, I don't even, I, I'm really good with like um, Coptic and, and, and uh, lots of different things, but I can't tell what that is. Um, let's see, Douglas Driggers, I have an 85 penny that is shiny like silver or aluminum, but like new. 85, it could be missing the clad layer, which would then reveal the zinc, which would then be silver. Uh, Rogue, 82 likes. Do I see 85? There you go. Uh, we're getting close. It's 239. We got time. We get to 100 likes. The first person to put the word enter or entry and B sees 100 on her screen and the word entry. That person gets a free entry into the drawing whether you buy an entry or not. SJ's Mixed Adventures, 10 bucks. I love this community. Welcome, SJ. Haven't seen you for a while. Glad to see you. I uh, hope you're doing good. Um, John said, I'm surprised at present everyone wants to make money on YouTube. I'm thinking of doing the same. Gosh, and the bottom end of that just scrolled right off again. Um, Kalar, thumbs up. Uh, okay, the rest of everybody saying hi to SJ, so I'm going to take a water break. Ah, oh, yeah, I got coins out here. <laughs> So, whoops, and I dropped one. Uh, another 2,000 P seconds that we have in so so shape. Now, here's a little better George Washington. And another little better George Washington. Not as nice as that Sacagawea, you can see. John Adams, that's another one to check for errors. Actually, a lot of the presidentials you want to check, and a lot of the Sacagaweas you want to check. That's, you know, goes without saying. Um, and there are some misconceptions out there about what is an error, especially on edge lettering. And we, we did a video on that, and we also have it on our list explaining what to look for so you don't get all excited thinking you found one or not knowing whether you found one. Um, what's up, sweetie? Ouch. I can't, I can't twist that far. Okay. Um... Yeah, G-Man was talking to Grant about it. Facebook. Matthew, $100 awesome donations today. Yeah, that's that was from Grove Minting. Um, best books for reference while coin roll hunting. What's a book, man? <laughs> um, yeah, actually, uh, uh, Pennyum and Bobby Emmons said, Cherry Picker's Guide in the Red Book. Uh, that has been true for quite a while, although I recently... Heard a rumor. I have not talked to JT. I, I do have email contact with him from time to time. Uh, my understanding is that he may have sold his ownership in Cherry Pickers now that his partner died. And if that's the case, we don't know who bought it. And it may or may not be the same Cherry Pickers that we've gotten used to. Um, the Red Book is the same as the Red Book has always been. Uh, the 2018 came out uh, the end of December before the coins did. Uh, so um, we're a big believer that the books are a good reference and they're a good place to look for pictures at times, although they don't have a lot. Uh, Dan from Houston, 50 bucks on PayPal. Uh, thanks guys and girls, but have to go. I will catch the video later this evening. Be on the look for my error picks. I will only send the amazing one. Take care and love your channel, Dan from Houston, Texas. Thank you very much. That I mean, not only not only for the fifty dollar do, you know donation, but for the for the very nice comments. I mean, that's that's the stuff that keeps us going because um, you know you, you get the trolls every once in a while and you kind of question, but but you get a comment like that or uh, like Heidi who gets really excited all the time and and 
you know, like last week, I think, when she got her box finally. And she and her daughter, if I remember right, go through them. Uh, that's cool. You know, that's, you know, you're setting the next generation up with the hobby, with the hobby and, and, and that's, we really enjoy that. So, you know, Larry Briggs, I think, is going to be part of Cherry Pickers. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure who it was. All I, all I heard from a very noted person in my area was that that, that, was, that was changing. Um, let's see. Amber, pre-posting entry counts as first too, right? <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, cheapskate. I uh, missed that dude. Um, Sandy... Man, it's going by too fast today. Sandy, Sandy something said, I'm a new subscriber. Sandy, I'm sorry. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Hopefully you hit the like button and hopefully you enjoy what we're doing here. Z Squared just went by. Heidi S, $5 on Super Chat. You guys are the best. My hubby is jealous how you guys get my time every weekend. Laugh out loud. Um, Amber, I got to go. I got to go. Go once again, damn it. Sucks always to go early. Uh, baby ways. Have a great day, everyone. You too, Amber, and check the video afterwards, you know. Uh, uh, let's see. Amber, stupid autocorrect. Got to go. Keep on rolling. Thank you. Uh, have a good day. Be safe. And, and uh, you know, like I say, check it out afterwards. Never know what's going to happen in these things. Uh, Matthew, Heidi, oh, okay. Uh, Jesse, anyone find any new $1 bills or pennies? We found 2018 pennies. We already put a video up on that um, um, with errors, yeah. Um, actually, quite a, several, um, a couple of good ones. Uh, somebody threw a 92 AM back. Um, Jesse, anybody found any new $1 bills? Oh, uh, haven't found any new $2017 bills, but as I said, we found the, pe the pennies and we did find errors on that roll. Um, Lit Diamond, Je yep, Z squared, I'm jelly. Okay, those music mixes, okay. Matthew, still looking for 2018s. Uh, guys, I found a 1914D. Do I have something good? Uh, Silver Badger, are we talking penny, dime? Because uh, 1914 D penny, I believe, is the key date, isn't it? Sweetie? 1914 D penny? If it's penny. If it's a dime, it's not. It's 1916 you're looking for. Uh, Heidi, still looking for 2018 too. Uh, last week in school, I came away with yet two more old nickels, a 41 no mint mark, which would make it a Philadelphia, and a 1958D. Very cool. Check that D for a double die. It, it is a known, if I remember right, that it is a known uh, year for uh, double dies on that D mint mark. 94 likes. Uh-oh, we're getting into close territory here. So uh, we get to 100. The first person after... B sees her computer roll over with the number 100 on likes uh, with the word enter or entry. And you guys will, will see the screen, uh, the, 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 the stream here light up with, with 30 or 40 of y'all hitting the button at the same time um, with the same word. Uh, but she has the final say on who was the first one that actually showed up on her computer. Uh, let's see, Pamela, I just found my first 2017 P on the West Coast. Hang in there, Pam. There, there, we're, we can't find any, we, we've had trouble finding anything except 2017 P. So when we found a 2018, we're thrilled. Scott, I have a 53, uh, I didn't see the godless bill in a $1 and a 53, $5. And it's, again, it went by cheapskate, got cut off. Uh, Heidi, I, oh, I just received my 2018 silver bullion, the one we were giving away. Cool. Uh, what is the error on Sacagawea dollars? Um, Texters, there's, there's about a dozen or more of them. 
Um, so you need to check our coin list uh, over on jbcoinsinc.com uh, to find out uh, what they all are because I don't even know them all off the top of my head. Yeah, it is a 1914 D penny silver says. Yeah, that is a key date. So that is definitely potentially, depending on condition, it's a very rare, uh, very valuable condition. Um, man, uh, uh, 97 likes. Uh, <laughs> entry, entry, entry. See, it's starting. Uh, thanks, I have several. Um, let's see, I'm showing 97 still. And I found while we were talking, I found a gorgeous 2000P Sacagawea. So she will go over here on the, that's the same year as the first one that we found. Um, 98, 99, we're almost there. First one after 100, everybody, see everybody's putting enter or entry and all that. Um, Whoever's got a question, you got to wait till all the enter and entries go by and we declare the winner because 100, what? SJ? SJ? Mm -hmm. Cool. SJ got it. Okay, you can stop putting enter. <laughs> SJ won the free entry. Uh, big boy, hi. Welcome, big boy. Good timing. Um, Amber, you, you, you missed it. Sorry. Uh, John Savage, welcome. Uh, Sin, welcome. Uh, <laughs> Grove, Grove Minting, Jared says, non-entry. <laughs> That's funny. Um, could you, uh, gosh, that, they're going by too quick again. Um, let's see. JB, have you ever found an S business strike, America the Beautiful quarter in a roll? Uh, S business strike. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I know we found proofs, but I don't remember if we found a, a, a business strike. Lit Diamond. Bye, everybody. Uh, let's see. Amber, I'm a waitress. Work hard for the money. Make some good tips tonight. Um, let's see. Now for 200, Corey says. Yeah, the rule really technically according to uh, B is that every time we hit 100 or, you know, the next 100, which would be 200, we do a giveaway. Um, we got 10 minutes. I can't believe it. We've only got 10 minutes left. Um, I, I don't know if we're going to get 100 in the next 10 minutes. Um, let's see. Scott, I have a 50. There we go. 53C Godless Bill in a $1 and a 50 a five dollar godless bill do you know how much they could be the 53 the 50 he's got a, a 53 a five dollar godless similar to ours mm -hmm. that's uh star note or no uh and what was the year on the one dollar bill again uh let's see I like receiving change for a tip like the only server ever. Yeah, really. <laughs> uh, but, uh, could, sir, could you please make that in quarters? Yeah. 103 likes. Do I see 200? There you go, Rogue. Um, hi, Cowgirl99. Welcome. Coinstar. Hello, JNB. Welcome. Christopher Gann. I just seen a 1914D at a coin shop yesterday in extremely fine condition. Yeah, uh, if you go to PCGS Coin Facts, you can look and compare or photo grade, look and compare the grade, and then you can look at the value in Coin Facts. Uh, Scott Lee Lockhart, $1 is a 35C. Uh, are they star notes or just silver certificates? Um, or both? <laughs> uh, I just got the Britannia that you highlighted for the giveaway, ordered Thursday, got it Saturday. Cool. Yeah, those are those are gorgeous coins, aren't they, Matt? Uh, Christopher, it sold for six hundred. Uh, which what sold for six hundred? Uh, could there ever be a two thousand ten memorial back penny out there? Um, yeah, potentially there could be any kind of combination when they transition from one design to the next. Um, and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of 
dime penny uh, planchet issues uh, around that time too. So keep an eye out for those. If you go to Heritage Auction past sales, uh, they list a ton of, uh, you know, penny stamped on dime, dime stamped on penny. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of amazing how much uh, stuff is out there. Um, Christopher Gann, the 1914 D wheat. Yeah, it would be, it would be a wheat. Uh, Scott, the dollar is a silver certificate and the five is a red note. Okay, so the five is a red note, just like the one we had. Oh, our $5 was a star note red certificate? Okay. All right, so, sorry. Our red note, $5 was a star note as well. And that we looked up and it was uh, going for between four and 600 bucks. The dollar is a silver certificate. Um, that one was, I can't remember the year now. Um, yeah. How much? 10, 10 bucks. Unless it's in pristine condition, uh, or unless it has a special serial number or, um, a rare, um, federal reserve, uh, low mintage because, Believe it or not, on, on the dollars, you've got the 12 different Federal Reserves, and you might have a million printed in one Federal Reserve and 100,000 printed in another Federal Reserve. They look exactly alike, but obviously the one with only 100,000 printed, you're going to have more money. Uh, I found a 1916 penny in an old purse, cowgirl says. That's that's a good date to have. Uh, the 1914 D is the key date. The 1916 is a ver is a very nice uh, year to have, uh, but it's not a key date like the 14 D. If that was a dime, uh, a 16 S would be a key date. Do people take the rainbow effect, on, the rainbow fake the rainbow effect on silver? Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, you have to be careful with that. Um, there's actually some stuff, I think, on PCGS's website about um, fake, fake rainbow effect. Um, they've got quite a, quite a bit of stuff on the PCGS website now about, you know, what's my buffalo nickel worth? What's my, you know, what, what causes this? You know, that kind of thing. So there's some, there's some really good content there. Uh, I'm not going to start the next roll because we only have a few minutes left here. Um, so yeah, I'll remind everybody what's on the table. Uh, not so much faking, but you can artificially tone by leaving it in direct sunlight for a while. Yeah, that's true. Uh, there's also people that do things like smoke and oils and different things. And it's just, it's, there's, you know, chemistry set kind of thing. Uh, I went metal detecting the other day at the park, only found modern coins, but still was fun. Got my daughter digging the holes. <laughs> there you go, Heidi. Scott, thank you. You're welcome, man. Uh, John, thanks. You're welcome. Um, Grove, good to see everyone. Hope to see you all next week. Thanks, Jared. Thank you for coming. Thanks for everything. Thank you for the $100. Um, Adam, my 65 SMS dime is damaged rim, copper bleeding through. Um, that one, again, I would send to Heritage Auction, HA.com, free appraisal, and ask them whether or not that is a gradable coin that would sell at auction and have value. Um, let's see. All right, three minutes left. So we're going to go through what the giveaways one more time, and then we're going to do last call, okay? Uh, 74 Ike, very nice condition, front and back. We have a 2009 Tyler, partial missing lettering. It only has E Pluribus Unum. Uh, it has no date. It's a known error. It's, uh, it has, does not have In God We Trust. It does not have the year, and it does not have the mint mark. So this one is a known one, and it's, it's a perfect example of what they describe the error as. Then we have the 2000 P&D Sacagaweas that are AUBU from coin roll hunting, and they're beautiful. 
Then above that, we have the 79 PD and S Susan B. Anthony's in great shape. So you've got the full set of 79 there. And to complete it, you've got the 79 Susan B. Wide rim, narrow date, also in really, really nice shape. It's a beautiful coin. And I really got to do something about the lighting in here so you guys can see these. Because it just doesn't do this one especially justice. Um, and then the, the last thing all the way up here is very crisp, uh, star note 2013 series, uh, from the Dallas fed. And it starts with 1950 and ends with 5452. That entire batch is the giveaway. Um, let's see, Johnny, have a great day, everyone. And thank you, JV coins. See you again soon. Very soon. Very nice stream. Thank you. Bad Danny. Did you, uh, did you see what I said about me giving 50 bucks, giving 50 bucks for 192 silver quarters and $10 for a roll of silver dimes? Wow. I was thinking you were saying they were worth that. That, that's a screaming deal, dude. Uh, yeah, you did really well on that. Uh, quarters right now with the silver price, silver, silver spot, I mean, just scrap are like three dot two, just shy of three dollars a piece, I think. So, you know, you're talking 500 bucks almost just on those. Uh, so probably 10 times your money, man. That's that's what a lot of like the dimes have been going for at the shows we've been to lately is eight to 10 times face value um, for, you know, what they call scrap dimes. Uh, Jassy Lane, hi, welcome. Uh, Bobby M is, what does a first strike mean? It means it was the first day that they struck the coins. Um, and how do you tell the difference between the two? The only way you can tell the difference between the two is if it comes from the mint designated as a first strike or it comes out uh, in the package with the first batch, the first, uh, the first day of issue basically. First day of issue and first strike are really pretty much the same thing. So the key is if you're going to send it off to be graded for, and get first strike or first day of issue, you have to keep it in the package with the material that shows that it was the first day that they were released and send it to the grading company for them to open it. And then they will give you the attribution of first strike or first day of release, depending on the grading company. Uh, Bill, 1672 silver spot currently. Yep, it's been playing around again this week a lot. It, it, it's gone over the, all over the place. Uh, how much do silver quarters, silver dimes, and silver halves go for? Um, if you're talking just silver melt value, you'd have to look at the silver spot. Uh, there is an, actually an app. Um, uh, and my phone is currently filming our live stream, so I can't look at the app. It is Coinflation. Uh, that's what it is. Coinflation will give you the different types of coins, and you put in quantity one, uh, you scroll down to what it is, you click on it, and it'll tell you based on the current spot value what the melt value of that coin is, whether it's a quarter dime, and they go way back on old coins too. Um, but if it's a collectible coin, it's going to depend on condition and lots of other things. Big boy, I found these $1 bills. I owe eight zero 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 five fifty five. That's a good one. F four four eight six two eight eight. Star note. Okay, um, that's good. Uh, B zero three four zero three two seven eight. Star note. That's good too. Check. Um, Check both of those and see what the mintage was from those Federal Reserves for those star notes. So that you can tell, I mean, you got low numbers, but if the, if the run stopped at 500,000, then those numbers mean even more. You know what I'm saying? Or if the run went to 2 million, those numbers mean even more. Uh, Brad Woods, thanks for everything, guys. You're welcome. Uh, what's the app called again? It's... Um, Coin, coinflation, like inflation, only there's no in, it's coinflation, C O I N, flation.com. And it's an app. Um, uh, I have it on my Apple, you know, uh, I got it right out of the App Store. 
Kitco app, they've got that too, yeah. Um, let's see. Thank you, JB, for all the help. See you next week from Bobby Emmons. And it is after 3 o'clock. So last call for entries. And then we will be bringing the laptop in to do the drawing and give away all this treasure on the table. That's really, it really, really is some nice stuff. I mean, um, uh, I think even a seasoned collector like us is, would be really, really impressed by what's in that uh, group of coins there. So, um, all right, so move that back. Ouch. Yep, good luck, everybody. And of course, Scott's dominating the uh, first page there because he has 10 entries. Um, Scott Lockhart, and we'll read off the names here. David Smith has two, Ralph Simpson has three, Beth has one. Vince has two, Rex has one, James Lee has two, Bobby Emmons has two, Rogue has one, SJ has one, two. One. Okay, sorry, two. Dan from Houston has, what, 10? Okay, that's what I thought. Heidi S, and there's SJ's free one. Okay, so we got them all in there. Did we miss anybody? Still need to get that like Jeopardy music. Da, 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 da. <laughs> um, okay, no takers. Uh, nobody missed, so we're going to pick the name of the winner. Beth. Beth Coddington. Uh, thank you, Beth. Congratulations. Um, I believe... We have Beth's information, don't we? Okay, you can still send it to us if you want, just in case anything changed, but, but I think we have your information. You have till Saturday as usual, one week, to claim these, otherwise somebody else gets a shot at them. Um, but congratulations, uh, I know you're gonna really, really like those. Um, and uh, thanks to everybody that participated today, and, and you know, uh, as always, it goes by really fast. We have loads of fun. <laughs> Beth says, wow. Um, 105 likes, Rhodes says. Very good. Uh, that's cool. Uh, Heidi Beth again. Awesome. You need to play the lotto. Yeah, her and Scott, they, they, they seem to win a lot of these things. Um, Let's see. All right. You're very welcome, Beth. Uh, enjoy it with, in good health. Uh, like I say, you're going to absolutely love it. Uh, John, see you next time. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Folks, thanks for coming and participating in this and, and being part of it. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, uh, all of that stuff. Uh, so... Uh, until next week, same time, same channel, uh, or the next video, uh, thank you again, and JNB signing out.